now. What's up, y'all? All right. What up, y'all? Gameplay X. So this podcast. is episode three, right? Episode three. Episode three. Damn, you you gonna not? Yeah, let me do the intro. Hell yeah, let's go. Go go. <laughs> No, if you take, you want to take do it, the go floor, ahead. bro. Take the uh, floor. Yo, Gameplay X4 Podcast Episode 3. What up, y'all? Echo Barrage. Go ahead. All right, Dom. So, which ones you want to start with? So, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to introduce yourself. Yeah. I was waiting for Ray. I was, I was waiting Whoa, for that's, Ray. That's, yeah. that's crazy, bro. Yo, that's Ray. Up. Yo, you go last. So yo, guy, alias, go ahead. Alias, go ahead. No, no, no. Alias, go ahead. I'm just right here. Alias, Jones. All right, whatever. Malagru, go ahead. Malagru, like Malagru YouTube. There's nothing there yet, but I promise maybe one day. <laughs> give him give him five years, bro. Give him five years. <laughs> Sound guy, Ray, go ahead. What's up? What's up? What's up? King Ray right here. Sound, Sound guy, Ray. Sound All right, Sound King guy, Ray. Ray. King Ray. <laughs> Ray for real. Uh, yeah, check right, the whatever. Ball. Yeah, whatever. Check the links below. You're going to know who we are. Anyways. Uh, nah, you don't take links below you don't even post it my guy right. it's, it's okay it's okay they know who you are. oh yeah that's true there are no links below. yeah he never posts it bro he always <laughs> no, yo, no, yeah. advertise it, <laughs> yeah. no, it's no. okay damn what's up with these motherfuckers trying to get you know, pop outs yeah all right we're gonna start this off y'all gonna start off with nintendo google i can be getting nintendo out the way right Go no ahead. no 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 let's do google let's do google because nintendo has a lot all right, uh, we're going to start out with this uh, Google talking about how the they're not worried about e, uh, ISP data caps when it comes to Stadia, even though they're going to drain your data with that 4K. You know, which, um, what y'all think about that? That uh, uh, clearly it shows that um, he's too rich for his own good. Yep. Uh, because maybe his world data cap doesn't matter. Uh-huh. But on cell phones where they like to throttle a lot of internet services like if you have uh verizon if you have verizon you have data cap like it's just that simple even have... internet even internet got data like i think comcast got data caps yeah comcast also has data caps. the only one i know of for sure that does have is spectrum yeah oh uh, no i don't think uh files has data caps no it does it does oh it does yeah oh okay I'm yeah so know. verizon loves their data caps how about fiber google fiber I don't, I don't know about that one. I don't know. About I mean, they, if they're not worried about it, they better not have it on their own shit. I know, I know right? Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. We ain't worried about data caps. Google Fiber caps your data at one one k. Yeah, but not only that, but like they want you to use it on your cell phone that has data caps. It's right. like if you're not worried about data caps, you must be rich enough to afford internet without data caps. Yeah, and also they want you to pay for four k, which takes what sixty five. I think it's sixty five hours of just one terabyte. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's sixty-five oh, hours okay. is one terabyte of data, and most um providers, I think it's is 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 it one terabyte of data or is it like five hundred gigs or something like that? Five hundred gigs. It's somewhere around there. Somewhere. Around. Yeah, like they're not. It's not gonna be a lot, but one terabyte. You it seems like a lot, but it's not a lot because you surf the web a lot. Like every day, you're on the web surface. So imagine. Yeah, it, go, ahead. go ahead. Oh, okay. yeah. No, if you essentially, if you like playing games a lot, um. Because most most of the internet caps out about like what, the thirty terabytes on there, something on like that. No, 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 on the um, on like home. Home thirty two gigs. I think so. I think it's like thir- no thirty terabytes. Thirty. Oh, I, th- okay. I, I think so. Somewhere around there, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Who knows? But after a while, it starts to cap. Um, so af- after the cap happens, and we're not we're not talking about just Stadia. We're talking about if you like Netflix and all that stuff. It all contributes to that cap. So, if you, if they don't worry about caps, then either that stuff makes you really efficient or they're really rich. Like I said, yeah. In in a in a generation of streaming, data cap is like a problem because what everyone's always streaming nowadays. You got Netflix, Hulu, all these other streaming services, gaming streaming services. You know what I mean? Is is people are gonna data cap their? They're gonna cap their data because they're using the internet so many damn times. You know, and they're downloading stuff too. So it's like. You know this this stuff is this is, is going to be a problem for for Google. I mean, I this clearly this guy is thinks that the world has like the best internet everywhere in the world got the best internet. We don't got the best internet. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, wait. So, wait, so Verizon Files does not have a data cap. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. But some of these some of these things are are kind of crazy when you look at it. Like ATT have a one terabyte data cap and 
if you every time you go over by fifty gigabytes, they charge you an additional ten dollars. Yeah, look at that shit, yo. In sixty five hours, you already have reached one k. I mean, one one t. Yeah. No, I mean, yo, this is what he this is what he said, right? He he said that ISPs are are smart and they understand that they're in the business of keeping customers happy and keeping customers with them for a long time. These ISPs right. don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, they just want money. Yo, they don't care. They will cap your shit. They will throttle your boat, your your internet. They don't care. So clearly, okay. he he's out of his right mind if he thinks that that's gonna just go smoothly. Yeah, I feel like, like they just want more money, I guess. But they always get away with it, right? Like most of the time. Yeah, the ISPs get away with it because most of them have a, a monopoly. You know, yeah. like yeah. they all like like Time Warner when well, not with Spectrum now, but monopoly, um, yeah. Spectrum Internet. You know, there's only in the, the areas they provide internet. You you can't get nothing else. You can't get files because you can't get Google yeah. files. You know? Can't get nothing else but them. yeah. So they and have a monopoly in that area. And a lot of internet provide for internet providers go through like maybe one or two networks. Um, mm -hmm. So it's not it's not, it's not as much variety as a lot of people think. But, yeah. And on top of that, you shit. When it comes to spectrum, you're sharing the internet with everybody else. It's not like files or like uh, like a fiber optic where the internet is your internet. So you're not sharing it with someone else. So if, if there's like a, a peak peak hours, your internet starts you know being slow because everyone's using it. Unlike fire, fire, uh, like files, your internet won't slow during peak hours. So imagine during peak hours, you're trying to play games on a streaming service. Good luck. Yeah, exactly. Um, can this problem ruin uh, Google? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it is. Right sure. now. Yeah, Not Google, but Stadia, yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. Google. Google will be fine, but Stadia, no. I, I personally yeah. think Stadia is dead on arrival. I, I'm going to say it right now. Dead on yeah. arrival? I'm saying dead yeah. on arrival, bro. That game, that's just a wrap. Yeah, and and the fact that you know that they're charging full price for these games <clears throat> is another reason why it's gonna be that on arrival. Like, uh, you're paying charging me full price. Why? You know what I mean? You're not. You're not. You don't have to cut the middleman. You know why isn't it forty dollars? You know, thirty five dollars. Yeah, you know? I mean, probably just get through these a lot of these other services on there to cut those deals. They probably just said, hey, you know, we'll charge full price, but like, there's no real value in Stadia. Yeah, you don't own those games. Yeah, they don't go under. You really you lost all that money, right? And I think this is about the, another topic that we have, which is uh, they won't remove games from your social from your Stadia library if they're removed from sale. Yeah, but the problem is that's not what people are worried about. People are worried about if Stadia itself goes under. <laughs> yeah, <'cause, laughs> I mean, I it wouldn't make sense if they remove games from their service because if someone paid money for it. Like it's a flat fee. You shouldn't be able to take that out and then take their game away. You take a game out, you refund all that money you you know that people bought spend on yeah. that game. Um, yeah. They I personally think they should have just went the game the game pass route, charge like fifteen bucks, twenty dollars, and get a whole library of games and have them stream that. Because at yeah. the end of the day, you know you don't own those games. So you might as well just give them. You the mean service. rent it? I mean, yeah, uh, right. Yeah. Essentially, you're renting it right now with Stadia. Uh, you don't own that shit. <laughs> that's true. Even with yeah. games now, we're technically renting games because we don't own them. They're licensing. licensing. Yeah, I remember they did a study in, uh, I think it was Europe. I forgot what country. Maybe it was um, UK. But they did a study in Europe where they said they most people prefer to have a physical copy of a game. Yeah. Um, because one, well, I can't say why. I don't remember exactly the reason why. But I, me personally, I like the physical copy of the game because at least I can sell the game over. I don't have to worry about if the service goes down and I don't I lose the game. Like you can have as many PlayStation five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen thousand, yeah. and I can still I can still play it on the PlayStation four. Yeah. And so it's just like um, it, it's just having a Stadia library where Google might just discontinue Stadia. It's not it's not really worth it. Yeah, because like what happens when let's say something happens, let's say with Microsoft or Sony, and you only have digital games. And something yeah. happens to their server that it just like completely got wiped out. You're fucked. Yeah. I mean, you lost you sue all them? that money. Can you sue uh, them? So? No, nah, you can't. Wow. Because it's, it's also going to be in the agreement too. So of course. You gotta read. They always they always have some some backup to just to make sure they know yeah. everyone don't read the agreement either. Because in the yeah. agreement, I think in the first, I think one of the first three agreements, it says you don't own these games. You are, right. you are like we are licensing these games off. So you. even even right. even if they buy a full price game, yeah, even yeah. if you buy uh -huh. it physically, you don't own it. It's in the it's in the it's in their clause. Wow. Yeah. What the you fuck don't are they doing this for? 
You don't, they, yo, it's been Funny. going like, it's been like that for years, bro. <laughs> uh, so it's imagine like all those people who, years. I think it was like 2013, the great PlayStation, PlayStation 3, uh, PSN outage. Yeah. Like, it lasted yeah. for like, what, eight months, nine months? It was about six, seven months. Yeah, but you just couldn't play online. You and couldn't play online, like, and that meant, because your PSN, you, your games were through, through your PSN, you couldn't play those games you had online because you couldn't get online. So you were pretty uh, much fucked. Why if you had it? Uh, yeah, I remember yeah, so. oh, I remember. And if you and if you bought digital games, guess what? No trade in, no sell, no nothing. Mm-hmm. You yeah, just have to stick with it. Is that yeah. just a, a scam, basically? I wouldn't go that I far. I wouldn't say it's a scam because yeah. you're still. No, nah, it's not a scam. A scam is tricking you into thinking you're getting something, something a, a product. That's yeah. a scam. Yeah, but you're actually you're getting, getting a playing, product. playing the game, him, and you can. No, it's because they're telling you what you what they're no, doing. They're literally telling you yeah, what they're doing in, yeah. their, in their agreement, though. It's that, that most people don't care. Yeah, 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 they don't read that shit. It's like South Park episode. Yeah, yeah. they don't. Yeah. Read it. <laughs> I mean, I don't that's why that, and that's why they cover their ass because they know people don't read it. Because one is long as hell. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. That's another issue, you know, they should be shorter. If it was like a two pages long, people would read it, and then they'll move on with their day. And then, okay, now I know what I got myself into. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? yeah. But it's just yeah. how it is. Yeah, I don't it's... think. Digital game. Is it the same thing? The same thing with Ubisoft, right? What? No, no, no. But the thing is, you to be too big, too big of a company to go down like that. Uh, that because they're trying to move no. into the streaming services. Oh, they're doing their, their own service. Yeah. yeah, it's not streaming service. It's more like uh, a service. Yeah. Okay. But if if it, if they were to go down, then you won't be able to play their games, even if you own them, even if you exactly. pay for the price for them. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, you got okay. a physical copy, you can play the game. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Here's the thing, though. We're in an era where even if you got a physical copy, most of these multiplayer games are online-only games. Yeah. And you, only day one patches. Yeah, so, like, let's say hypothetically, let's say we're going to use Blizzard as an example. All their games are online-only games. So if the server except goes Diablo. down, then boom, down. Yeah, except Diablo. I think Diablo, right? It's the only one, right? Yeah, yeah. You do have to offline Diablo, yeah. Yeah, so, but like Overwatch, we use Overwatch as an example. You get a physical copy, you plug it in, you need internet to play. You can't even play offline because there's no offline mode. It's all in, in, the, in the server. Yeah, yeah. You can't even play LAN yeah. because it's only online. And it, it's, it's crazy. I don't know how these they do these competitive multiplayer games. <laughs> I mean, you saw what happened when they lag sometimes. Yeah, it's like it's crazy, and I, that's why I was telling I was saying people is like, like they think that you know they got they got a physical copy they're good. No, they're slowly tutoring you um, into getting comfortable with just playing only online games. Because yeah. next generation is gonna it's just gonna get worse because they're pushing for digital only games. Yeah, but the physical copy like that has its advantage and you can sell it. Yeah, like, but like, whereas in digital you can't. Yeah, but a game that's only online it's it's really worth nothing. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, because let's say the uh, uh, the Overwatch servers go down, right? We can't play that offline. Where that's just <laughs> a wrap. We can't play Overwatch anymore. Uh, Crazy. Rip all Overwatch. So, so basically, you're saying don't get into this shit. I mean, you're already in it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, with some games, yeah, literally, but um, yeah, but like um, you know, it's it is what it is. I mean. Uh, they control the market. Um, people are gonna get in, buy into it anyway. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, they, I mean, not buy into it right away like everyone, but uh, I'm sure some people are gonna try it out anyway. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, Stadia, they are gonna have some people in it. There are already people that are fanboying over it, uh, saying yeah. that you know, Stadia is gonna destroy the next generation machines. They're fooling the fuck themselves. <laughs> like, yeah. Stadia only got 31 games right now. Okay. And, and, and they only got third party games. They don't have like exclusives. In what scenario you see this actually working? What? This you would need a limited internet. Yeah, you, you, you would, would need like five G internet, bro. Okay. <laughs> and, and Which we already would... moved into, right? Like sell all those news. Which we yeah. need internet from Japan. Like the the internet they have, yeah. we need that. But most importantly, you need a service. This is to toss the idea out there to anyone who wants to make it. You need a service that can like pull the license from their servers so that even if they go down, people don't lose the game. If you had like a service like that going around, I think people would be more comfortable with digital games. Whoever makes that is going to be rich as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody cares. So what are you guys doing for the next two years? No, that's true. Why nothing? 
Anyways, uh. Uh, what? what? No, no, no. It's it just dumb coming. Anyways, um. <laughs> All right. Uh, leave, leave it up to you to make these dumb comments. Yeah, leave it to me. Doesn't matter. No one listens to this. Uh, yo, yo, we got, we got. All that podcast, I'm a self hater. Yo, uh, so I'll that attitude. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be like, then you want people in the comments like, nah, man. Come, Get come, the come, 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 okay, man. I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Like, yo, come, come down, yo. Don't you don't doubt hey, yourself, more, man. <laughs> Anywho, yeah. so what's next? What's next on the line of news that we got going on today? Besides, like you know, the Google Stadia thing. Call of Duty Warfare tops the orders. Yo, you, yo, you think you think Modern Warfare is gonna be on stage? I mean, isn't that like, uh, no. like an obvious I thing? Don't think so. Nope. Because Activision knows they don't need them to make money. That's true, but here, look, Bungie put that bitch on, uh, and, on the video. Yeah, but not only that, but I don't think the latency is going to be low enough for people to actually say... Yeah, when it comes to multiplayer games, I yeah. don't know about Stadia. See, Destiny's on it, that's cool, but yo, I don't know, man. Are they even going to release the game on Stadia? I think they got they got Street Fighter Mortal Kombat on Stadia, too. Fighting games, yo, you cannot play fighting games on the street. They, 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 they might as well just give those games back. <laughs> like it's fucking crazy, bro. I don't. It's not, it's not happening. It's not happening. I, I, Stadia, I, I see it being successful only with like campaign, uh, story-driven games where you don't need precise right. uh, inputs and whatnot. Yeah, those games where it's like you know you play a long RPG, you yeah. know you're never gonna play it a second time. So then Stadia is great for you, but for I think you're probably more better off buying the actual like the actual subscription for whoever made it if they offer it. Yeah. Uh-huh. But but for the people who actually want like a game that's like responsive or, or if that's like your main focus when it comes to gaming, it's being immersed without having like to hope that you get the correct input. You know what's crazy too? It's worth it. You know what's crazy too is that X Cloud is gonna pretty much be Stadia in a yeah. sense. Oh but you it has game pass. Game. Like, but the thing is, let's say even if it's not Game Pass, let's say you buy it. I say that hypothetically, right? Well, I am gonna buy it. Let's say I get I get Gears of War Five, right? I have it on my Xbox. I can use my Xbox as a server, stream that bitch on my phone, and play it, play the campaign while I'm like, let's say I go to New York, I can play that while I'm on the plane, or uh, this if there's good if there's good Wi-Fi, I'm playing on the plane, go play it at my at my brother's house or my friend's house or whatnot through yeah. the cloud streaming. So that's pretty much yeah. what Stata is, and it's free. So it's like I don't have to worry about going to Stadia and not on not owning a game. Why could you do it on X Cloud now? Uh, and also, Game Pass is a thing. You know, you can download the game and then stream those games wherever you go. You know what I mean? So, you know, X Cloud is gonna give Stadia a run for its money. That's another reason why things gonna mean, be there. Uh, game Game Pass. I mean, the only thing that Stadia really has going for it is the fact that they got those um they got those those services from like EA and Ubisoft because if it wasn't for those, Stadia would be 100% dead. Yeah. Like, because it gives people a way to not have to pay full price for those games. That's true. Yeah, okay. that's true. I mean, oh, you can, you, can you use Game Pass on on, on Stadia? I don't think so. No? Nah? Or if, they, if you can, they haven't announced it yet. Oh, yeah, because I know you could use UB, uh, you, uh, Uplay Plus. On Stadia. Yeah, Uplay Plus and um, See, that, that would be a hell, a hell of a plus. If, you know, if Ubisoft got good games on it. I mean, they have one game. That's Assassin's Creed. <laughs> All right. So, so there's Modern Warfare. You, it's not going to be on, it's on Stadia. Honestly, huh, I'd sorry. rather not be on Stadia. People wish. Fuck that. Yo, I, I need I my precision. So, when I'm going to quick scope these, these news, yo, I need that precision. Man. You really think everyone's going to go in Stadia and go and play Modern Warfare in there because of the... No, it's not, no, not going to happen. Man. It's already uh, there. <laughs> The game is yeah, maybe they'll play the campaign, but they ain't playing a multiplayer. Hopefully, they, they release a good PC version this time. For what? Uh, Modern Warfare. Are they going to release it or just for platform? No, Black Ops Four was a great a PC um, port. What are you talking about? Yeah, oh, no, Modern Warfare, it's okay. Modern Warfare is dead. No, it was a great. It was a great version for PC. You may not have liked the game, but the port itself. Oh, was, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. The version of PC it broken. I played yeah, the beta, but, but it was, a, you know. The beta was the, honestly, I had more fun playing the beta. The actual game is boring with offers. <laughs> Let's oh. That's his most game. Yeah. But yeah, so pre-orders at GameStop. Is this really news, though? I mean, every time Call of Duty comes out, it breaks records. 
mean, it might not be to activate the Viking, but... Like, who in the fuck we order is Call of Duty most of the time? You? But yeah, everybody. Everybody. I don't know. Yeah, last you? time I pre-ordered Modern Warfare Yo, was people what? only pre-order never. Call of Duty I to play... I never have pre-ordered Call of Duty. Bro, people I pre-ordered only for you. pre-order this game but never, to get the beta. Neither you, you have, liar. Uh-huh. Hey. You heard? What happened? People only pre-order the Call of Duty to get the beta access. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. That's sad. You know, like, and especially no, since Modern right. Warfare, they, you know, everyone's hyped yeah. in Modern Warfare. Should, uh, you know what? Like, oh, if, if anything, tomorrow I'm going to pre-order this shit. Fuck that. It's like, oh, you know, it's reimagining. It's like, yeah, sure. This is, the thing is, this is also feeding into people's nostalgia. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they trying to, you know, that nostalgia trips are crazy. So they're trying, they're going to get this, they're going to play this game. They pre-ordered it because they're hyped and they want to try out that beta. No, 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 no. You know what they're doing? They're trying to they're trying to use nostalgia as an excuse to reboot it. That's what they're doing. They're saying it's gonna be a reimagining. Nah, this is gonna be straight reboot. But instead of being three games, it's probably gonna be like seven, eight games now. Nah, you play like, no. Nah, because <laughs> you, you know why I say that? Because I was just like the one thing people wanted after Modern Warfare Three was they wanted to know more. They wanted more because you know after the Modern Warfare Three, Soap died, Yuri died, um, Makarov died, um. Price was like the only one that was still alive after out of everyone that started in that unit, right? Yeah. So what I think they're gonna do is that they're gonna reimagine it, quote unquote reimagine it, mostly reboot, and they're gonna make the story and then they're gonna keep the continue the story. Like I wouldn't be surprised if it's like Modern Warfare two, three, four, and then Modern Warfare one, two and three, right? And then after they get to three, that's that's not gonna be the end anymore. It's gonna be like four, five, six, seven, blah, blah. blah. Like that way they can say Oh, this is a reimagining of the story, so it's gonna be longer than it was before. Like I guarantee you, that's what they're gonna do. Nah, nah. And seven, eight games is too many games. I know, but any don't underestimate they their are, ability to are, they, That will legit tire out the Modern Warfare franchise, yo. Of course, but but it's Activision. They will milk everything they need to to make money. That's true, but like they apparently, you know, this game is gonna have free free map packs. You know, uh, no, no way. Pack. Please don't. Yeah, the free map pass, no season pass. The season pass is, yeah, it's just the map packs are all free. Uh, there won't be no zombies in this game, which I think it's, I Thank honestly God. think, I don't know, I think God, because zombies should just stick to Treyarch. They do it the best. Um, but there's always going to be a catch to no oh, heavy, to heavy, map. heavy microtransactions. Yeah, heavy microtransactions. Yeah, so you know, there's going to be heavy microtransactions. They're probably going to do the same thing with Black Ops, bring out that battle pass, and then just. Take everything that you used to be able to unlock in the Call of Duty and just sell it to you. Likely, they probably have some pay-to-win battle um, microtransactions in there. Mm-hmm. Remember yeah. back in the day when you had to like grind and you know, um, yeah, and prestige get, get challenges, and get crazy challenges, prestige, yeah, uh, do crazy things in in your in the multiplayer, so you can just unlock like that badass emblem and stuff like that. Oh, like, yeah. that the weapon. Time. Yeah, get the you know get gold, gold guns, you know, gold skin, those diamond skin. Now you just buy that shit. Okay. There's, no, there's no such thing as unlocking things. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, nothing and, better than a poster, right? No, but it's it's funny because um, that's like another problem with games. Like I understand, but a lot of people didn't really ask for all that. Like a lot of people didn't ask for all this it extra matter, BS that you put in games these days. Huh? And, but they but they put it in. They're just like, oh, see. It's really expensive to make games. They're like, well, no, no one asked you to get Kevin Spacey. No one asked you to get, you know, this dude. Like, no one asked you yeah, to you, put all the you BS in there. You like, don't need uh, AAA celebrities, like A list yeah. celebrities. You don't need that. You can yeah. just use your, the voice actors that are, I, that you know, just regular voice actors. You know, uh, it could be A list voice actor. Who doesn't matter? But it's, they're not going to be as expensive as an A list, you know, Hollywood actor. You know, yeah, doing that kind of stuff makes things expensive. Yeah. Um, well, still gonna you know, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm honestly looking forward to this game. Yeah, no, yeah. please. I, no. I, I haven't cared about Call of Duty since Black Ops Three, so I Black I'm Ops actually 2. looking forward to this game. Black Ops Four. I thought the beta was dope when I played the actual game. But then it was boring, boring and shit. Yeah, Black Ops yeah, Cool Too, boring. but you know, Blackout is still like it's still a simulator. Kind of feels like a simulator kind of thing. I'm not. I'm not down with that. I rarely have ever play like or Apex or Fortnite for when it comes to battle royale. Infinite Warfare was complete garbage, uh, and World War Two was I. You know, it's it wasn't that crazy. It wasn't that crazy. It wasn't that fun either. So that's 
three games, Call of Duty games, three years of Call of Duty that I was just like, eh. And now, mm-hmm. you know, this game, hopefully they can capture my attention like they did before when it put that multiplayer. That campaign, I know, is going to be good. Yeah, it's uh, really but good. The multiplayer is really going to decide if this game has long legs. Well, we'll, we'll see because it's they said the, the campaign is going to reflect the real life headlines. No, it's not. It's not really affected. Like, like unless, like unless you're willing to see soldiers on the ground, like blowing kids apart, bombing the shit out of things. Like, when I say they bomb the shit out of things, I mean they bomb the shit out of yeah. things. Like, Yo, like they, they, go, <laughs> they, they, they bases in Korea, yeah. Because, yeah, because, like, like, um, I heard recently there was a headline. I think it was like a few months ago, three, four months ago now. Whereas, like, they had like video where like the United States bombed the shit out of like a town in Iraq. Yeah, and it, and, it, and it was just like completely empty. They bombed the shit out of that town. It was ridiculous. I'm just like, you're not gonna do that. And then like even still, like there was this soldier who who was getting who got arrested because he would purposely shoot at like little kids. Oh, yeah. And so I'm just like, yeah, that by right with Trump. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. he was a part of him. Yeah, he was a part of him. He literally killed like children, and then yeah, like on purpose. Yeah, and so I'm just like reason. they. Yeah, I'm just like, like he was so he, he was doing so much of it that his own squad mates turned him in. Yeah, that's why that's he ended up in jail anyway. Yeah, and I'm just like, you're not gonna see that in Call of Duty. They don't have the balls. Like you know, they don't. Like we all know they hey, don't. Man, yo, they did no Russia, no Russian. Nah, but even that's they, not to compare no. to real life. But apparently, yeah, I know. But they did they did say that they're going controversial like that. So we will we'll have to see. Okay, then, then, then when they do no rush again, I want to see uh, kids in that airport. I, I, yeah, at least they're not, they're not, no, they're if not they're they're doing no rush, then I'll, I'll no, be no, 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 They're going no. to make it controversial like no Russian was. No, no, I mean, they're like. Not, be the whole game. No, but what I'm saying is that, like, like if you're going to talk about, like, real life, if you're going to hype it up, and then you got to show how bad it is in real life. Yeah. Like, it's, it's really bad in real yeah, life. Yeah, I know. It's just so, like, but they can't show everything, you know. But, but that's but that's what yes. I'm saying. But, but they're hyping it up like they will. That's that's the point. Yeah, that's what yeah. We'll see, trying we'll to see make. We'll see got balls. You know? We'll see. Uh, I don't think they do because it was like in real life. It's like I tell people all the time: like everything you read in a book is nowhere near as bad as in real life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like sure. That's, that's definitely sure. <laughs> Screw kids! That was ruining yeah. everything. But hey, yo, the runner-up for the pre-order is Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hey, like, uh, like, like I said, typical, Pokemon typical game. style. The biggest games in, in gaming, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Pokemon game. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's crazy. Yo, every time a mainline Pokemon game comes out, they no, always, always million, sell yeah. over ten million. To oh. <laughs> each version, <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Pokemon. Like, yo, like people, yo, people be like, yo, Pokemon straight dead. Yo, that 10 it's million, not. don't say that. Don't don't say it's dead. <laughs> yeah, it's never dead. Yo, that shit is, is crazy, it's man. Just Pokemon. I, don't, I don't understand. It just like, Pokemon there's, there's some Pokemon because that don't deserve that 10 million, but they still get it too. Yeah, uh, people are, you know how, you know, yeah. I'm always it's, like you. It's, it's power. <laughs> and it's also new generation of gamers, you know, like the, you know, new generation of kids, you know, all. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know how they're doing it, to be honest with this. Um, you know, Nintendo, they're, they're kings that we release them. It sucks because, nah, they, because no, they're getting them in the city, like the shitty games. No, nah, because think about it, right? How many games you got out there that's actually like for kids? You don't really have much. The Nintendo pretty much dominates that space. Yeah. It's like I said, like how many platformers you see? You don't. How many you see like Mario? That's about it. You know, like you don't really see that many games for kids out there. It's usually just Fortnite. adults, teenagers, and most parents don't want to do that. So they just say, hey. You know, has a kid games, Pokemon. Nah, man, there is uh, out there, man. You haven't you haven't played Super Lucky's Tale? Come on, exactly. bro. And even that's on the Switch. Now it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not Super Lucky's Tale. New oh, Super yeah. Lucky Tales on Yeah, the new Super Lucky Tale, yeah. So it's just like they they, they dominate the space that like you're yeah, never Minecraft. gonna win it. Well Minecraft is for kids. That's true, Minecraft. But that's on the Switch too. Yeah. So it's just like they Nintendo just got their stuff. Yeah, but uh, I mean, we can jump into the Pokemon stuff. Yeah, yeah. Give me freak doubles down. down. Yeah, we could talk about this. So since we're talking about Sword and Shield, you know, Game Freak is out here saying, "Yo, we won't give a fuck what y'all talk, what what, what you what your feelings are. We are gonna keep doing what we're doing, and you are gonna buy our game whether whether you like your feelings or not." So that's fine. You know. Yep. Not you know, they're not they're not gonna change the national Pokedex. They're gonna keep it how it is, and it's like. Then what's the point of the not the Pokebank? What is it? Pokedex. 
yeah, Pokemon Home. What's the point of it if I can't even bring my Pokemon into the latest game? But the thing is, this is what they do. They want to do. Apparently, they want to do like raids where you can like they decide what Pokemon come in there and whatnot. And it's like that's cool and all, but like, come on. That's the thing, though. Like, I agree. Like I said, yeah. So, no, nah, I agree. Like, as a person who like plays the VGC competitively, I can tell you right there, like nine nine percent of Pokemon don't get used. And then on top of that, it's like there's like what with this new game, it's gonna be like what close to eight hundred, maybe already over eight hundred, maybe like eight fifty, eight like almost nine hundred Pokemon. Like you know what I mean? That's a lot of memory right there. That's a lot of models. And they decided to keep making new Pokemon. <laughs> that's not our fault. Yeah. <laughs> you said it yourself. We didn't ask for this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But I'm saying like uh, they was like, you know what? Let's cut it back a little bit. Because I'm just like that for like for balancing in the game it makes it a little bit easier too. Because that's not like yeah, 900 yeah. Pokemon have we to like. Oh, we out here gotta give ex- make excuses for these guys. They know they gonna make a 900 Pokemon. They gotta balance all that shit, and we don't want to hear excuses saying, "But we can't balance 900." Well, you should have made 900 Pokemon. <laughs> no, because think not. Because not only that, because think about how many how many of those Pokemon would be redundant, right? It's like I think I, I support the the decision to limit the Pokedex. Uh, I think because it's like, like I said, I've been saying it for a while. There's just too many fucking Pokemon out there. We don't need all of them. Yeah. Yes, we do. We the collector out there. Yo, they ain't. Man. I want to collect them all. all That's it. Yeah, well, what what's about the point? What's the point, right? Yeah, the other thing is, right? Okay. Even cool. Ash you, is it. you support that they're not going to, they don't want to put uh, all the Pokemon in there. So, what's the point of Pokemon Home then? What is the Pokemon you what's do? Pokemon you can do it. But no, but like, if I, if I, what's the point of it if I can't put all my Pokemon if I, uh, in the in the in the new game? I'm just gonna have it stored. Because it, uh, it doesn't in, mean because it doesn't mean you can't transfer it to other games, right? Yeah, but when it comes to a new Pokemon game, people are gonna just want to jump into the new Pokemon game. You know what I'm saying? Like that's. It. I mean, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying, but uh, the way I see it is just like you know, nah. home is a hub. Yeah, not, it is a hub. Like, yeah, it's not just Pokemon Pokemon Shield. Yeah, I know that, but like at the end of the day, you know. Mo- the most are gonna use home for the newer game. Yeah, yeah they're gonna want to shift the show. Yeah, yeah so it's like, like, uh, that's why I'm like, nah, I'm I'm not gonna be out here, you know, giving these guys uh the benefit of the doubt and whatnot. They want they want the decision whatever they want to make is cool, but it doesn't mean that people are not gonna uh, like it. A lot of people don't like it. No, 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 no. I'm saying that yeah, they they don't have to like it, but I understand the decision. Like it's um... like, yeah, it's cool, it's cool to understand, but it's is uh you know it's I understand the decision too. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you're providing, because, you're providing a service. Yeah, no, nah, because I'm just saying, like... dollar for this game. Yeah, <laughs> no, no but that's the thing, though, because it's not like they're getting less of a game because of Pokemon on it. Because it's like, think about it, right? It's like, they like Pokemon... Oh, Pokemon like Ruby and Sapphire. You couldn't catch all the Pokemon. They didn't care. The most people didn't care. Um, even what... Let's go, whatever, and let's go, whatever. You couldn't catch most of the Pokemon. Oh, it's like it's one of those things where it's just like the the, the no, fact yeah, that you can catch Pokemon. them all, but you can still bring them to, um to that game from other games. And this no, game, I think, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but what I'm saying, like, I think when it comes, because like think about it from VGC, right? It's like I said when you play in the VGC, there's like a, a handful of Pokemon just dominate, and some of those Pokemon, I'm guessing, are not going to be in this one. Because you know they just they're just too powerful the way they design them and it's like it's like it's hard you can't really design for the future and so the way I see it is just like okay they limited it that way you know one the Pokemon in this region could actually get a chance to shine and then two um, yeah then two like they don't have to focus on balance as much because it's like say when when you look at Pokemon like X and Y Pokemon um, Alpha and Omega mm-hmm. like the VGC um, you you were using like Gen One, Gen Five Pokemon, <laughs> and it's Gen, gen Six, Gen Seven. Yeah, and, but yeah, they they could yeah, but you can get player <laughs> options where it's like okay, you want to play this competitively, and a competitive you got to play, you got to use this pool from like the whatever this region is. You know what I'm saying? And and then yeah. those that want to play with their old Pokemon, you have this server and whatnot. It's just yeah. more options. That's really it. To be yeah. honest, but. yeah, but that's the way I see it. Like this is that limit. Like by limiting it, that is that saying that oh, you can only play with this pool of Pokemon. Uh, I think uh, limit limiting um, limiting gamers from options is, is bad. Yeah, it's because it's probably like one of those things where like I never really cared about the national decks. 
Like I yeah, never I mean, completed I it, but for it either. But I know there's people yeah. out there that do care for it. You know of course, I mean? of course. So I'm saying, like, so like my personal view is not that serious. But I guess a lot of people who like are completionists, it is a serious thing. Yeah. But but I could see where like because think about it, right? Imagine like Pokemon and. 2045. Are we gonna have twenty thousand Pokemon in the game? Nah. Well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We'll see. That's, yeah, yeah, that, that'd be really yeah, unrealistic. Because we'll there's people out there that like to bring all their Pokemon, their collection from one game to the future future game. Yeah. You know, bringing them over, bringing them over. So it's like the fact that they can't do that in this game. Kind of, it's kind of like, oh, it's, you know. Um, yeah, I get that. But then, people, oh, I don't want to get it because I can't even put it. In. But then on top of that, like. I think going back to what I think I said last week's episode, we all know that this Sword and Shield is not the main attraction of this generation. It's going to be whatever remakes is released after it. That's most likely going to have 100% of the Pokemon in it. Oh, probably. Yeah. Most, most likely. That's usually what happened. Because X and Y didn't, but. Yeah, but. Don't make that out of there. Know what the beta, and this is, you know, what they came out afterwards. Hey, maybe these. No, no, no. Yeah. Let's, let's go with more like. Removed to Switch. It's like how X and Y was. It was like they released a little BS one to like show you, oh, this is what it looks like. But then like they would start releasing the actual ones. I think that's what this is. It's just like I mean, let's go with just like a test, and it's sort of shield. It's just like okay, this is the new one, and then probably if they do a Diamond Pro remake, that's going to be like the actual. This is the maximum we can do on this console game. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be straight fuego. Uh, I want to see those remakes, though. Wiggle! I can't wait for that, man. I can't wait for that. Yeah, man. I hope they don't do a black and white remake. <laughs> I mean, to I skip like Diamond Pearl is stupid. Nah, they better not skip Diamond Pearl. That's yeah. Right. That was probably the most complete. That was the most complete Pokemon there. I hope there's yeah. new stories to the black and Pearl. Era. Diamond Pearl had a lot of legendaries, too. I know, but uh, yeah. different story. A little bit dark. No, I yeah, they go. They probably do that because they did that with Ruby and Sapphire. You know, you had a, a whole new arc. And they did, um, and they did that with Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. and they also pulled the, the request of story. Well, Ultra Sun Ultra Moon was a was a sequel. It wasn't really. Yeah, yeah, it was a sequel. Yeah, it was a bootleg sequel because it was the same game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a DLC <laughs> pack. <laughs> That's pretty. Yo, that that game was uh, legit DLC. You could have released that as downloadable content. Yeah, yeah, really. Uh, yeah, but fun. still good. Anyway. Nah, have that. That shit was not worth the money. F, F that. For some people, yeah. Ah, man, you bought the same game. All you did, God, is just an extra story. Yeah, you just you did get the rainbow rocket part. Yeah, like come on, nah. So I'm sorry, nah. That shit was not worth it. That shit was not <laughs> yeah. Worth it. Now I tell Game Freak that Ultra Sun was worth it because they're gonna keep milking that bitch. <laughs> I mean, it was worth it if you didn't play the first one. Yeah, if you didn't play the first one, yeah, you got you got good value. Yeah. But if you play the first one, you got ripped off. Yeah, you got ripped off for sure. So um, forget that. Uh, <sighs> so uh, what's the message you guys send it to? What? <sighs> so don't buy Pokemon? Cool. The hell you be buying Pokemon? I I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. Because I was just like, a part of me is just like, yo, just wait for the third one. Like, you know what I mean? Yo, I really was thinking yeah. about that. I'm like, yo, just wait for the third one because yeah. look what happened with Ultra Sun. Right. The third one was usually the better ones. Yeah, usually. Yeah, yeah. Like, look at, look at uh, when it, for Diamond Pearl, you know, Platinum was way better. Right, when Emerald. Got, uh, Emerald was better. Yeah. Um, even Crystal was better from uh, when Gold during Gold and Silver. Yeah, I liked Crystal more. Yeah, they just they Crystal? add more. Or yeah, Pokemon Crystal. Yeah. Wait, what's, okay, when's the, the last time one. you guys played All Pokemon right. anyway? Oh, I, let's I go. Some, let's go, Eevee. Really? Yeah, let's, when was let's that? Go. Like, what, a year ago? No. November. November. Like a year ago? Not six months ago? Yeah. I, but, did you guys play the whole through? Yeah. yeah. Yo, back in the day, yo. Oh, really? Did you I play through? Oh, yeah, damn. Yeah? yeah? I was yeah, it's a new remix of the first one. Oh, I didn't even see it playing. Because usually like, you guys make a, a whole hype about it. I mean, I let's go. <laughs> yeah, like, that's like a second remake. Right? Yeah, that game, yeah. It was just it's like, not a big thing. Yeah, it, it, was was the same. it wasn't really po- like a, like a standard Pokemon game. It was like really for beginners. And it's shit. just Eevee and Pikachu were fro- bro- broken. That's it. Yeah, and, and, and the way you catch your Pokemon wasn't the same either. It was just, yeah, it felt gay. It was an intro game to to get the people from uh, Let's Pokemon Go. Yeah, I didn't feel excited excited at all. 
Yeah, but that that's really that's really all it was to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, I guess we could jump into the Pokemon Masters if we talking about. It's a three B B three three. Masters. I know that's it, Jimmy. It's a three B three three. I don't have no idea what this game is supposed to be about, so y'all gonna have to take this and talk about. Oh, well, Pokemon it's Masters. It's, it's a three B B three battle. Is that a video? Basically, uh, about uh, you could choose your own team leader to help you out. That's it. That's it. It's a mobile, it's a mobile game. It's a mobile game, not mine. It's a mobile so it's game. Like, so what I saw from the trailer is that you can pick a team. Can you pick Pokemon or you got to pick the, the team has their Pokemon? The team has the Pokemon. But can you, so you, can, you, you can choose yours. Your you can choose yours. Whichever you want. Pokemon All right, so what's, like, what's the premise of the game? Like, what am I doing? Battle Pokemon League, Master. Playing Pokemon game. Like, you're battling like regular Pokemon, or is you like? No, it's a story. Like, it's a story. A Pokemon game. It's a story. Oh, okay. oh, so it's like, it's like it's some sort of like story mobile game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably like maybe like like Dragon Ball Lost a little bit like that maybe. Uh, I never played it before. Well, the story mode. Oh, the, 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 the story mode. Yeah. It's gonna it, be different. It, it looks like they did. It you looks like they did introduce a new team in this one. Ah, uh, okay. It's gonna be fun. I like it. You don't know that. Is it three? Is, is, it, three? is this for the Switch? It's something different. Nah, it's for phone, for mobile. Oh, so what's the whole point of it? What do mean, what's the whole point of it? It's like, it's like Pokemon it's Go? It, nah, it's, it's not different. like Pokemon Go. It's a 3 bb 3 part of it. Oh, Something shit. different. I'm about, I'm about to watch this trailer right quick, yo. No, I'm watching it right now. I'm sure. Yeah, because yeah, so, uh, what you do is you pick your team and you battle, and then you can your your trainer that you make can also use moves. It's just that um, oh, the got abilities and stuff. Yeah. yeah, so the trainers you use can boost your Pokemon, like their stats or something like that. Oh, they could hear you. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it depends on the the trainer. Okay. Um, it's a little bit different than normal Pokemon, but overall, I, I don't see any point in it. But whatever, so I... maybe. Maybe that's why the national dex is not in Sword of Shield because they want to put it in Masters and then have you spend a lot of money. Kind of crazy though. Ching-ching. This Ching-ching. game looks better than Sword and Shield. It does. Yes. That's, it does. Yes. That is uh, worrying me because that means they it looks like they spend more time and heart on this game than Sword. Oh, they already know. Because this get yo the animations. The art style, you know, it looks pretty good. It right? actually got anti aliasing. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, it this looks game, pretty good. it looks good. But for I think a that's what game, I'm it amazing. But, like, yeah, for a mobile why, game, why, doesn't look that bad. Why, why does Sword and Shield look like hot garbage? Yo, these <laughs> text- <laughs> they, they tried to push that out. to the limit with um, the Breath of the Wild engine. Ah, man, I'm sorry. Yo, it's yo, they done fucked up. <laughs> Oh, maybe this game looks this good because you know it's not an open world. You know what I mean? That too. Yeah. You, know, you can you can put more details on the screen. Right. But man, this looks good. This is gonna this, it's gonna get compared. Watch, watch when these games come right. out. We'll they're see. gonna get compared. We'll like, oh, why does it look better than this and whatnot? But for now, I like I like it a lot. So I'm about to play. Yeah, yeah I think uh, you know it's not bad. Give it a try. See how it goes. Probably you get addicted. You spend a little money on it. Yeah. Also, it's still turn-based? <laughs> huh? Yeah, still turn-based. No, is it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it's still turn-based. I mean, all those people who play Pokemon Go are about to get some... some stimuli. Damn. Wow, this is crazy how good this game looks. Pokemon Masters yeah. League, they like embark on an adventure wow. collecting badges along it's the way. It's so shaded. That's probably why. Yeah. It actually looks like an anime. The unique yeah, thing about say. Pokemon battles in this yo, game yo, is I that they're real. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Wow. I was actually hoping that that would be like the new Pokemon. Uh, what was it called? Origins? Oh, okay. Origins. Yeah. But yeah, it yeah. wasn't because the trailer looked like it was going to be, but it turns out not. Oh, well. Okay. For next time. Yeah. I guess. All right. All right. So, we, so, so we, since, we, since we are in the we, same realm of Nintendo, let's talk about the... Uh, they're planning to extend the Switch Online library beyond the NES. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, since you all wouldn't I'm so done. Uh, 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 just to download more I games. I can hear you twice. <laughs> it's yeah. 
Man, what's up with you and your mics, bro? I didn't get it. Mic. Like, it's, it's, more games. That's it. More games. Like here, like yeah, just that's it. Yeah, this is this is our Josh, um, our team. Yeah, because I hear, I hear myself. That's the best mics ever. Yeah, I hear myself through his mic. There, there. Um, yeah, I can hear you. Are you? Are you is your head turn? I think uh, it's through Kenneth. Yeah. Yeah. It's Kenneth's well, mic. Your head turn? No. I just randomly just started picking me up. Yeah, yeah. yeah really the, the, the thing started. The thing started whacking out. I don't know why it's moving my settings around. Myself and then. That's the kind of uh, right. quality, uh, three thousand dollars. Is this even here. worth it? Can all right, I so be on this? the NES. All right, so here we, we let's let's talk about this NES real quick. So they they consider they're considering. Then they didn't say they are extending the Switch online library. First of all, I I have made a video about this. First of all, they they should have had NES, Super NES, N sixty four from the beginning. I don't know why they and decided GameCube, to and GameCube and GameCube, GameCube. GameCube. from the beginning too. to play on a Switch. How the hell your previous machines had NES, Super NES, N64, Game Boy Advance, GameCube games, Wii games in their virtual console, but your current machine doesn't have any of them but the NES? Why is that? Why the fuck is that? Like, it doesn't make no fucking sense. But the library. That's just better um, like that. Like the the thing is like they just want to resell you the same games over fucking. No, every time they give you free stuff, it's always NES games, SNES games, games that no one cares about anymore. Yeah, like yo, th these games are thirty years old. No one cares uh, about those games anymore. Because think about like also look at the games they do put on there, the with the Nintendo Online, right? It's not Mario, it's not Zelda. It's always these back these backlog games most people don't hear about. Yeah, no one like cares about game this. Like, and, on, like, play. and you got people hyping it up like, oh my god, this is so great. I get to play NES games. You no. bought an uh, NES Classic to play that's uh, Super Nintendo games and Nintendo, game, Nintendo games. You know what I mean? Like, you had... Yo, yo, I can play older games on my 3DS right now. And the Switch can. I think like, it's just crazy. Just saying I, think, I don't think they're ever going to... That's it? Yeah, I don't think... If it was gonna be like this, they should have just kept virtual console. Uh, this should stay. Like, no, because they because they know that. I think they knew that if they started selling the games to people again, people wouldn't buy them. Then don't Dude. you don't have to sell them. Just let them have it back. Yeah, that's <laughs> so people that's the problem. They don't want to give it back because it's like what this would be the like the what third fourth time selling it to people. Yeah. And so it's like you know people are not gonna buy the same game over and over. People but they don't want to give it away. They, they are gonna buy that is the same game. If they that's wanna... the thing. People have been buying the same game over yeah. and over. Like it's, um, look at Pokemon. Insane. But that's Nintendo for you. Same thing. Every time. Oh, it's like, it's like, yo, cause look at that, yo. We could have had some N64 games. We could have had GameCube games and whatnot. Like, you know, like, could have been playing Smash. We could have been playing Melee on the Switch, uh, through 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 the GameCube, whatever virtual console, whatever art classic games they have it. They don't want to do that because they want to. They want the possibility of remastering an old ass game and reselling it to you. That's yeah. that, That's what they want to do. That's what they did with Wind Waker. So they did with Zelda. Um, you know what I mean? I think they're probably gonna do that with the Metro Prime trilogy. So it's like, you know, it's like why in their mindset? Why do this? We can just resell it to these guys, and that's fucking stupid. I, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so over it, bro. It's fucking. Sense, it, leave it to Nintendo. They be doing this dog shit. Like it's crazy. It's Italian, hey. no, they don't care. But you keep sponsoring with buying their shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't sponsor them. What are you talking about? They just know, don't care. Yeah, you keep supporting them, man. Yeah, when you you know the last time I bought a Nintendo game, bro? Uh, mm. Let's go Eevee. Yo, nah, I haven't bought a Nintendo game in a while. Let's go Eevee. I, I, Six I, I months ago. You still play them, though. Same thing. I play them, yeah, I play them. But it's, just because I play them doesn't mean I, I gave them my money. Yes, you did. Some sure, but you give you them did. your attention, so it's the same thing. You give them attention. No, it's not the same thing. Yeah, you give them free, like, uh, you know, marketing. No, 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 it's not yeah. the same remember, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, here time you, here is you are money. talking about Nintendo again. All the time. Why time is, is money. All right, cool. So if a million people, <laughs> if, if five million, let's say five million, ten million people are playing Pokemon and none of them bought that game, you really think they, they that it, it matters to them? Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, shut the fuck up. If they sold zero copies of a game, but they see 10 million people playing it, they going to be pissed. <laughs> They're going to be fucking pissed. That's how you hack it, right? It, it matters. It? <laughs> it, it matters. 
What are you talking about? We don't hack out here. Yo. We, I mean, I mean, uh, right, Ruben? Yo. We don't hack what? out here. People give us games. I never hack nothing in my life. People yeah, buy us right, games. Yeah. We don't yeah. buy, we don't buy yeah. them. Yeah. We'll buy for you did Ray PSP. Yeah. Nobody buys games anymore. PSP. <laughs> <laughs> oh slap! But yeah, I mean, you know, and the crazy thing is, this 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 guy, this president, and he wonders like, why are people opting out of our online service? I don't understand. Like, why why aren't they staying longer? Because you don't have good service. Your online is your online service is fucking garbage. You have no the Nintendo online service has no value. Oh, and that's why people are not staying for the longevity. Oh. They're buying, they're getting that free trial. And I think, it's actually, I think it's actually worse than previous iterations of it. Yeah, uh, it it's yo, I, yo, uh, the online service on the Wii was better than the Switch. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the Switch is garbage. At least on the uh, Wii, bitch. they have virtual hey, have you Have you played Mario Kart already? Yeah, you have it, right? Yeah, we play no. it. Mario Kart is the shit. What are you talking about? Oh, but well, how is it online for the Switch? Yeah, it's good. And then it's, Mario yeah, it's good. Mar- yeah, it's crazy. Mario Kart is like one of the only games that uh, right, just like that Nintendo. has like has has good be good. But you know, Nintendo made fucking a uh, new Smash Brothers, and it still sucks. It's yeah. all right. They don't care. That's why. Right. It's crazy. Yo, Splatoon and Mario Kart have decent online. Decent and decent and Mortal Kombat 11 has way better online than all of Nintendo's games combined. Wow. That's because and Mortal Kombat Com- cares. Like, but that thing is, it's on the Switch. <laughs> it's on the same platform these other machines have. So people are like, oh, it's the Switch. No, nah, it's not At least Switch. it took their time to make it's a better experience for the player. Yeah, like Nintendo. Yo, no, no, I wish, you, wish you all get together and so Nintendo. Fuck that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we could play Damn, Mario. Mario. Move it on to the next one. Ah, oh, come on. All right, let's yeah. go to Anthem. Let's talk shit about Anthem. Oh, what about no, Super Mario Maker? We're talking about Mario, Super Mario Maker. Yeah, Super Mario Maker. I have Mario Super Mario Maker. Maker. What's such thing as that? Uh, Liberty in the oh, Levels. Oh, there you go. There it is. I'm bad. I have Super Mario uh, Maker too. Yeah, yeah. Take this. Take, take it away, bro. So taking Super Mario Maker. So instead of making 100 levels, you can only make 32. That's what's uh, well, any Anyone give it time? Yeah. Yeah. So you can only have 32 levels. I don't like uh, it. Uploaded at once. It killed like, the game. Personally, I th- I I thought thirty two was fine nah, until dude. I found out that you could have a hundred on the on the Wii U. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, hey, why the hell can't we have a hundred? Yeah, you know what I mean. Hundred. Like, and I understand why they're limiting it because there will be people that for the first like month they will just play, 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 um, install and uh, make it, uh, make maps, make maps, make maps, and then forget about the game. There'll be like a good two million people that just forget about the game and they're just taking up space Bro, on the server that's the game so I'm about get it. Create i get it fucking but but you should still give people the option to have more because for those for the people that that are enthusiasts like and they want and they create mac levels and the levels at the levels they they're not gonna have enough like for me i feel like for me personally 32 is enough for me i'm not gonna make 32 level i'm not gonna make 100 levels to be honest if I don't play this game uh, religiously, I'm not gonna make that money levels, you know. But there are people out there that can legit have channels that specify just making Mario Maker channel, um, um, games, and, and they also have Mario Maker tournaments too. You know what I mean? That's a lot of levels. So, so imagine you know taking up space. Imagine could be like could be the last thing we talk about on the subject, but it's um, it's no surprise to me that Nintendo stopped giving a fuck about the servers. I mean, is that really surprising? Like, yeah, that's an end on like, top of uh, that. You weren't uh, able to play online with your friends. Yeah, so they recently are adding that because people were pissed off and they complained about it. Yeah, this was this was their servers. This generation have been complete shit. Um, the, that's that's been shit it, 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 the more of these things that come out, the more I notice that the Switch itself. And Mario Maker, along with a lot of other games, were just rushed out to make sure that the, the Switch had games that wouldn't end up like the Wii U. Uh-huh. Oh, because some of these things make no sense. Care. Like, like how does Mario Maker 2 have less features than Mario Maker 1? Yeah. Like, they just don't damn. care like, like, how, just what are you... Sad. It's sometimes, like, Nintendo just thinks ass backwards. <laughs> or they just know they're going to get away with it. Like, fuck it, do less work and just put it out there. Okay, I have one, one question, too. For you guys, it's Super yeah. Mario Maker to two. It's gonna have better story. I don't know. 
No, well, the first one didn't have a story. This one, have a story. Yeah. This one does have a story. What about these? It's yeah. supposed to be a great story. I don't know. So I'll tell you right now, Mario games don't have great stories. <laughs> Mario games is just about Mario play. Sunshine. Isn't, isn't it the really? same thing? The same rehash story over and over. Mario Galaxy. Come there, on. Mario games don't have stories though. Uh, the only yeah, one that like the... was Galaxy. Like a good. Mario no, 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 no. Galaxy didn't have a good story. It had a backstory. Uh, <laughs> still good though. Yeah. yeah it's so still it's like, no, still nah, story. most Mario games have trash ass stories. And good still game. story. Mario Sunshine did not have a story. It was <laughs> a good no. story though, for me. No, nah, that was not a story. What What was the story, Ruben? Kill. I'll be kill. That's it. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't it just washing yeah. away this stuff? Yeah, like Mario games, they're not about the story. Galaxy was like the only ones that had like something you were like, oh, it's not. You actually would like wanted to know like what story, happened. Yeah, no. That's pretty you know what yeah, I mean? it's a kid to Mario. Back, you know, it was so. backstory. <laughs> it's story. It was in- it's interesting it's still nonetheless. Story. But. Pretty good. Every story is, every story is unique. All right, move on. <laughs> move on, guys. I mean, okay. Right. Yeah, that's, that's Nintendo right there. You know, always get uh taking features away from us that we previously Nintendo, had. I love now. you. That's it. We ain't gotta talk more about love this, you, Nintendo. Nintendo no. Fix your shit, Nintendo. I, right? I right, let's move love on. You. They're not gonna fix it. Not for you. All right, we are gonna move on. Right, right, you know, talk- okay. talking about fixing games. You want to talk about Anthem now? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Has it been fixed? <laughs> <laughs> oh Come my on. god! Me. Yo, yo, let me tell you right now, bro. When when they had to pull a, a rep at EA Live at E3, and they only gave them five minutes to talk, you know it's fucking bad. Like it's sad, and a, and EA thinks that. That uh, Anthem is gonna last, it's gonna have a seven to ten year journey. Nope. If they think that, I want to know what they're drinking or what they're smoking because I want uh, some of that. I'm gonna say that that's BS because Andromeda, when it first came out, did better than Anthem. Okay, it did better than <laughs> Anthem, and he stopped supporting it after like a year. So yeah. it's no way they're giving this game a seven. Yeah, right? I think this is pure PR. Talk. Yeah, uh-huh. pure it's- like just like. Oh, uh, so fans don't lose interest, you know, like yeah, or, or they're ho- or they're hoping like the people that are kind of on the edge and want to buy it, they'll come in. I think if you have enough people come in, then they'll start journal. supporting it again. But uh-huh. I think this is just, this is just a big a six troll they're doing. journal. That's how it is. Yeah, it's like honestly, bro, this game it was, yo, know, they want seven to ten years. Let's say hypothetically they're being really honest and this is what they really want. They want seven to ten years. This game barely has had seven months and it's dead. <laughs> imagine they bring it up there I, I mean, every E3 saying, now let's talk about Anthem. Y'all imagine for five minutes? <laughs> and then, oh, here's the new raid. Oh, then we so probably it's like, we're we getting close. We're getting we, close. But we're getting close. close. Imagine, we imagine 10 years from now is when they actually have to finish the game. First of all, they have, to, they have to give the game they promised first and then they can talk about upgrades. A word. <laughs> I, no, they're like, gonna sell it. They're gonna sell it like you said, new upgrade for Anthem. Yeah, they essentially <laughs> sell. They sold a pre-alpha. That's what they sold. That's true. They did. Imagine if they like, started charging for game. that. Like personally, I in order to for this game to live and survive and have legs, I think this game personally personally needs to go free to play, and. They right now just don't release anything. Don't talk about it. Develop the game. Make the things you were supposed to make. Bring, give everybody what they promised, and then be like, it's free to play, and just put it free to play. And then like you know, micro, I guess micro transactions because free to play. When you put something free to play, it'll draw a, a, a good amount of a crowd. And if it's good enough, let's say like the the, the division, right? Division was dead for like a year, and Ubisoft they kind of like refreshed it, like they re-released it. Uh, it wasn't free to play, so I don't believe it was free to play. But they fixed all the issues that people were complaining about, and it brought people back into the game. So if they do that, maybe the game could have some kind of life. But I personally think this game is dead, and they're gonna stop supporting within a year. That's, yeah. that's what I personally. Think. They have to have. They have to do the Final Fantasy fourteen thing. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they they they, they already blew their first impression. It. No one trusts them with this game anymore. Uh, they 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 released. They made a promise that turned out to be more harvest and bogus. And then they released a roadmap that they didn't even follow. It was just like, 
This yeah. game is over. I think Joseph same raid over and over again, right? Hmm? Right? Huh? Well, it was the same raids over and over again, right? Yeah. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, like it's, it's just it's straight boring. bullshit. Yeah. Like this, it, I'm sort of disappointed because this was this was my most anticipated game of the year. I'm like, glad so, it. just I'm so, glad so, so it. But to be honest, the, but to be honest, the red flags were there because a lot of people at the time were saying, "Nah, it looks too good to be on a console like that." That's true. They were saying that. <laughs> so it was just like, so my guess is that um, those people were kind of right. They were just like, "Yeah, it was too good" because it wasn't even actual gameplay like that. Damn, that's, that's great. This shit crazy. You don't sound like a bunch of haters. I'm thinking the game is great. <laughs> you don't even know about it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, come on, come on. Let's 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 give you it. The game is great, yo. Let, let's right. give it a try. If I were to let it, wait, 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 Don't break their hearts. Hey, hey, hey. Server population one. Hey, 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 hey. What's a javelin? What? And in anthem, what's a javelin? Uh, isn't that like the name of the main guy? Oh, and, and there we go. So, <laughs> and so, so Epic Games says that Steve can only be challenged through exclusive. <laughs> oh, that was awful, man. It's okay. Oh, it's man. okay. I don't oh, memorize shit. games. I usually oh, forgot everything yo, the first day. Yo, yo, I swear to God, every podcast we gonna have to roast your ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh snap! He said the main character. Um, you remember when he said Commander Chief, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You're laughing now. We play him in Anthem. Oh, one. <laughs> yo, he dead ass called Master Chief, Commander Chief. Yo, let's move on, yo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot to say about the next one. <laughs> oh shit! So okay, Epic Games says that Steam can only be challenged through exclusives. Does everyone here agree with that or disagree? Oh. I understand what they're saying because they uh people the the masses like gamers think that I mean exclusives do sell but they're not gonna sell on them uh like it's not the same when your when your client is on the same machine that your other that your uh, rivals on you know what I mean yeah I think that's this is the point right so so I'm gonna go through the whole new stuff this is gonna be a long this is gonna be a long winded talk okay oh, okay. <laughs> so, like, so, uh, okay. First of all, Epic wants to say they're making a video game industry better. No, they're not. Nah. All they did was for the first time in probably a while, they introduced exclusives to the PC mm-hmm. through PC. That's a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Two, they're saying that if Steam lowers their prices or Valve lowers their price, their uh, cut to developers, then they'll stop by exclusive. One, they're bullshitting because no one decides to become less competitive if yeah. someone else becomes more competitive. Well, do and they- two, you think on PC there have been exclusives on PC though? There just, PC. It wasn't announced like that because they just they were on their own clients. You know what I mean? Like bad like Battle.net. All their um, games. No, I mean I mean like the what they're doing is they're like taking games yeah, from yeah, other yeah, things. Yeah. 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 Okay. See, that's that's a whole different thing. And so that's the one becomes more less competitive because someone became more competitive. And two, like I said before. We, you, they already bought up the major exclusive for like the next year. So even if they were to change their cut, nothing changes. That's too. So so when it comes to Epic, they say they can only be challenged exclusive. That's just an excuse for them not to have a good client and then, and then keep bullshitting. That's all it is. It's like they're gonna, what they're going to do is they're going to keep, they're going to keep getting, they, they have, because it's, if you look at it, right, they clearly have the money to make a client that doesn't suck. So why aren't they doing it? I get what I'm saying because they know that when, when you actually have to put up features versus features, they don't have you know the that capability because the there's, there's a, yeah, go ahead uh, sorry yeah yeah because there there are other people there are other companies that are way smaller than um, Valve that are making their own client that can compete like the biggest one people are hyped for is the God Galaxy 2.0 where they, where they give you like deals. They give you, I think, uh, then I, I forgot there was this one client that allows you to actually trade in your digital games. And so it's just like, he, there are ways that you could challenge Valve without having exclusive. It's that Epic doesn't want to put in that work. And they just wanted to just go straight from zero to 100 without having to have any of the effort. And they say, well, you can only challenge the exclusive. Yeah, you know, you know what's crazy is that their, the Epic launcher itself is a really good client. It's yeah. not a bad client. 
is just that the store portion of it, it's fucking garbage. Like there's like they have all the features on their client. They're just not putting it on the yeah. store. They don't have it because they don't have like you can't comment. No, I'm talking about their client has more features as the features that can be just put onto the store. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. the client itself, you know, what I mean, the Epic launcher was was a launcher before the store came. The store is just a little feature that they just added to the client. Oh, like, that's the, like the thing is like yeah, you can't search for games, right? You can't put games on the wish list, right? You can't you can't review the game, you can't comment on the game. Uh, there's a lot of features that is, that are not on the Epic Store. That's like I mean you know that it should be on it. You know what I mean? And there are a lot of people out here say, oh you know Epic is fucking great because that they just despise steam so much that they're like oh steam is being greedy which you know steam is you know valve is doing dumb i'm saying like if you think steam is being greedy go get gog yeah they'll <laughs> give you the exact same games yeah. like they, they get for almost the same price like it's nothing yeah, like you had other options yeah. that and it's explained to me how this small company glg can make a client that can compete with steam but a, a billion dollar epic can't because they're full of shit like they always been full of shit it's like I said for day one. It's like that the C like the best thing Valve is doing right now is they're not responding. That's the smartest thing they could do because they know Epic can't keep buying these exclusive. They're gonna run out of money. Yeah, that's true. Uh-huh. So, so, they, so they're just gonna be like, cool. When you run out of money, let's see if you still talk to your shit. That's what Valve is gonna do. Like, but you know what the crazy thing is too? Valve has kind of also hurt themselves. You know, with the whole um uh, Grand Prix, you know, giveaway thing, like mm-hmm. wish list giveaway thing. That's that's yeah. more that's more bad rep for them too, and I was like, oh damn, Steam is like you just can't catch a break right now. You know what I mean? Uh, I think it's pretty fine. No, I, I yeah, like. Right. It. Yeah, no, you're you're right. It um it does hurt them a little bit, but it wasn't a huge thing as people started making it out to be. It was it was rectified pretty quickly. Yeah. But when when it came to Epic Cell though, yo, that pissed off everybody. People started taking their games down from the store. Yeah, that that was that was kind of a problem for me. Yeah. It was a problem, I'm like, shit, I, I get to get a, a brand new game for fifty dollars. Like, that's what's up. Or you just get games for cheap as hell, you yeah. know. But you know, they they I mean that technically they had the right to do it because they already bought the keys, you know. So it's just that it undermines the market. So I get it. So Epic, Epic right now, uh-huh. all they're doing is doing bad PR, and it's looking better as a result. And you know it is too. Like, like I said, like the thing, the problem with with the Epic is that when 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 they created Steam, when Valve created Steam, they've been around for a while now. They've been around the block before. You know what it's about to run a business. It's like you're not gonna just run up on them with a client, with a brand new client. Like, oh, you do this, this, this. They'd be like, okay, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know the crazy thing is, I want to know how much money they're spending on these exclusives because. Right now, what it looks like, Epic looks like a spoiled rich kid is like just buying shit, just going on a shopping spree, and it's, just it's, buying stuff. It's hurting Steam's numbers because uh, apparently um, the sales are not as great as it used to be. They, they start to drop off, but that's because. But like I said, that's most likely because they bought up the the AAA exclusives. Like because because they bought those up, it's like okay, cool. It's not on Steam anymore, which means Valve loses a cut yeah, of money. Yeah, they bought the main games that people will go to Steam for. Right, and so it's like I said, like those games have already been bought. Like even if Steam Valve were to 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 come out and lower their cut to twelve percent, you know, it's still going to be Epic exclusive. It's not like Epic exclusivity is going to go away. They like they're locked into a contract for the next like six to twelve months. It's like then Steam is not getting those games until later next year minimum. Mm, Epic out here on ch- um, trying to make it seem like they care about the gamers. Like, oh no, they they drop it, we stop buying. <laughs> yeah, right. At the end of the day, fuck who? Yeah, the Epic? Day, Epic games are our fuck Epic ball. games. <laughs> they took all my shit. They can back it up. I don't. Nah, nah. Yeah, but Epic Games made the the best game in the planet. So right now, Downless, yes, just you're right, right now. You're right. Downless. Nah, it made no dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it made Fortnite. Fortnite is literally the best Fortnite. game on the planet. Whether you like the shit. game or not, it's it 2019. Nobody the plays Fortnite anymore. <laughs> No one's playing Fortnite. All right, right, sure. I mean, their <laughs> things are dropping, but it's still, it's still the best game on the planet. No, right kind of crazy. Nah, no, right now. Who, so who says that? Who says that? It's all about Pokemon. Whoever says that should be hanged. 
Uh, you want to sell, say otherwise. <laughs> Who, who's Money buying this game? Otherwise. Who's buying it? It's free. What are you talking about? See, this is why you, this is this is how you know you don't know what you're talking about. The game is free. All right, Ray, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> stop. Stop talking. Yeah. Yo, yo, these, the people in the comments gonna roast your ass. That's gonna be yeah, put the turkey. Put the turkey. <laughs> That's just gonna be straight comedy, bro. Oh it's my okay. god. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. They don't uh, know what you're talking about either. It's okay. Right, cool. It's like right. Kenny always hating on me. It's okay. Yeah. Alright. So are we talking about Capcom? What? We gotta talk about the riots. Yeah, uh, we don't care about them. But the riots. Oh, I think you just needed it. Oh, okay, we're not talking about? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's a wrap, all right, so it's a wrap about. Uh, it's... Oh, wait, that we not that's it. Um, yeah, that's okay, all yeah. of them. That's all the news. Yeah. We cover all of them. Yeah. Well, what games y'all been playing though? The games. Yeah, what y'all been playing lately? Actually, I've been playing uh, the but they like uh, GTA Five, Grand Theft Auto Five, some throwbacks, you know. Yo, can you believe GTA Five is their first GTA? Yeah, it's the first time I'm playing. Yeah, it's the first GTA ever. So, what? I love it. To be honest. Yeah, and I fall in love with him. Yeah, they love it. Oh my god. This is how we know. What you this is how we know. Right? The thing is, yeah, yeah, GTA, is to be yeah. honest, it, like all our lives, we could only afford one main title for a specific, you know, console. Okay. So GTA 5 was always like, you know what? We don't have to play that one. Until today. Wow. Until okay. today, the Steam has it for $15. So guess what? All right, I'm you know that that makes a lot of sense. Okay, cool, cool. When I was younger, I couldn't, you know, get all these games. I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Steam, by the way. You know, you didn't have friends who had this game, though. Nope. Uh, it's all about Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. It was Pokemon. It's in the world. Oh Most man, y'all didn't play GTA Three, San Andreas. Most oh, of our friends played. Uh, no, Nintendo I never world. played. It. I mean, there was so a huge hype. A lot of people played it, but. And you didn't play GTA 4, though? I wasn't like, rich like you, all right, Josh? I played Gay Tony. <laughs> oh, man. That, yeah, I'm, yo, I missed out. I wasn't out rich like Kenan. He had a whole library. Yeah, you guys missed out on some good gems. You know what I play? Army Man. That's what I play. Yo, you, should go, you, should go, you should go back and play some of these GTA games. Yo, you, you'll enjoy them. I mean, it's the same thing over and over. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Stop. It's stop like playing. FIFA, right, Kenan? Right, you would no, be. No, stop playing yourself. Uh, come on, not the Come on, Kenan. Just say yes. No, don't make yourself yeah. look like a... so The only the good thing about it is that you're playing the, what I think is the best Grand Theft Auto. What, GTA so, 5? Well, yeah. 5? Yeah, I think 5 is definitely the best GTA. Yeah, so... You think San Andreas is. I'm like, you guys are crazy. <laughs> San Andreas had, had a lot more content. I'll give it Like, that. it was, yeah, it's it's yeah. it's a good game nonetheless, but in but what GTA 5 offers, you know, San Andreas it's, doesn't have. Wow, seriously? I need to play GTA what? 5 more. You know what's another game that I'm playing? Play? What? I think, what, what's the name of it? Army Man? Oh, Army of Two? Plastic Warfare? Plastic Warfare? Yeah, that's what it is. The Mean Greens. Oh, yeah, the Plastic Mean Greens 3D for PC. Uh, mean Greens? Yeah, is it like their army men? Have you played that? Like the little little ar- um toy soldiers? Nah. La- like battalion? Oh, you took talking about Metal Slug? No, right? Not Metal no, Slug. no, 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 no. It's almost like the literally like army toys. So, like, you know the little plastic army toys that you the used to play ones? when you were little? Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, there's a there's one. You know, like there was a PS1 game. I think the yeah, name like, of the game 64. was Men. Army Man. Nintendo 64. And there was also for the... You know, it was available for the 64 and the PS1. There was huge titles during that time. Um, there was Army Man 2, 1 or 2. And they only, and they also had the the Air Force 1 for the 64. Where you just go over a plane and you just move stuff. Oh, that? Yo, yeah. you ever play... Uh, you ever play Warhead on, uh, on PS3? No, 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 no. Yo, Warhead? that game. Yeah, Warhead. It was like uh, planes. Uh-huh. Uh, Continue. Warhead PS3. It pretty much is like Jeez. it's like uh, is it Warhead? A crisis Warhead. Warhead. Oh, Warhawk. Warhawk. Oh, Have you ever Warhawk. played Warhawk on PS3? Warhawk. Nope. Nope. Heard about it. Yo, I'm about to pull this on the chat for y'all right quick. This, this, this game was fire. Back in the day. Give me the link. I'm... But Fuego. 
it's like you you're on a plane and it's pretty much like think of like you're you're fighting other jets and other jets you like it's yeah, just similar, jets similar. Fighting. yeah it's, it was it was it was dope it, it was dope for huh? today you probably wouldn't like playing it now because it's old as hell yeah but it's pretty dope you know what we're about to start playing crash all the game the theology oh i yeah, see i see but uh, yeah, anyway you never played uh crash bandicoot uh i'm about to play all of have you ever played before no nah, never that's what i'm playing yeah, about yeah, what, was, what was your childhood like not with the ps4 no, with the ps2 or the ps3 though yeah and you never had a ps1 uh, nope that, we Max only had the 64 well, we Max had the had uh, nintendo and we played go to war nintendo was our first thing and after that we gradually make it to the ps3 after uh, like Maybe wait, 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 God of War on what? PS1. No. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> no he's, he's talking about the PSP. I'm mean, no, sure. lying out here. <laughs> Yo, God of War on the PSP. Bro. That's what we play. PlayStation. No, we play the PSP one. Oh, PlayStation 2. Never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I didn't own a PlayStation 2. Max did. We played God right. of War there. Oh, yeah, never on PS One, huh? Nope, nope. And yo, y'all missed out on on Twisted Metal. Nah, missed out on best game, Dragon Ball GT. Garbage. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not gonna lie. The Dragon Ball games in the '90s were I garbage. Think, yeah, just not that one. Yeah, no, they garbage. Actually, Straight garbage. Budokai is saying. legendary, bro. Budokai Bur- is not a legendary game, yo. Keep dreaming. And Dragon Ball Fighters came out and it, like it completely destroyed Budokai. Yeah, but, yeah. but I got yeah, I'm actually gonna start playing Battlefield Five. You still playing? Play the camp- it's all about the campaign. Pokemon, dude. Uh, nah, I'm just gonna play the campaign. I don't care about that multiplayer. I got a 10 hour trial, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take advantage. Yikes! 10 hour trials. <laughs> yeah, I have EA access, so I get to play the yeah. game for 10 hours. Man, so I, I, it's so only gonna take me four to five hours to beat that game. I mean, so. go for it if you want to. Fuck it, okay. streamlink. <laughs> streamlink. Fuck it. You know what I mean? But I'm do what Kenan did. Do what? Stream streaming for twenty four hours nonstop. I'm not streaming twenty four hours. You bugging? <laughs> yo, I will only stream twenty four hours if somebody like donates a thousand dollars. Be like, yo, stream for twenty four hours. When I'm oh, like, yeah. okay, cool. Oh, uh, what's the name of that dude? A dude who, who? be giving away money? Cool. Yes. Yeah. 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 If someone donated game, me a thousand, so I can stream twenty four hours. I will oh, yeah, play for twenty four yeah. hours. Mr. Beast, just pray, pray for Mr. Beast to show up and just give you 20k. Oh, he just goes to random channels? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He like he just for fun he used to do that on Twitch. Just ra- go random like poor light uh poor uh, switch streamers. And he was poor like switch streamers. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. And he was like, you know what? Let me let me like uh enlighten their day by giving her 20k. And then like Yeah. And then he was like, you gave me 20k? Me? Why me? I was like, because you're awesome. I was like, <laughs> and then they start crying, and then he'll start laughing the shit. It was like worth the twenty thousand dollars. Damn! Just giving away twenty k like it's not twenty thousand. Sometimes a thousand, sometimes a hundred. You know, seventy five hundred. Uh, it depends on around. It depends on uh, how much he likes him. Like, and then when you have rich, you probably y'all, uh, you probably find f- trying to figure out ways to give away your money. Mostly, what's just the sponsor of money? You know what I mean, like he got a sponsor. Oh, okay. Okay. They got sponsors like you know. Let's give all this money away because he never kept it by for himself. I guess oh. that's what he said, but you know you can never that's believe these people. Yeah, I guess that's getting, he's getting, man, uh, he got he's getting like quite famous because he started as a, obviously as a gamer like everyone else. He did yeah. start he as a game. doing shit like that over and over and then he didn't. Obviously, he got super famous. Nope. Super Yo, famous out of that. Pop up my nope. channel. Thirty K. Shit. Thank you, bro. Gonna go for a good cause. Just started <laughs> doing like uh, spend it like in three days. Daily challenges in the in the life, real life. Oh, like but I, I heard if you, at the beginning he wanted to be a a, a gaming streamer and then but it didn't then work. Want to just give me all you know Virginia and shit. It was like um, the same. No, just... Simon. The just like that. Huh? It was just right, like the Simon group. group closing off the podcast for today. <laughs> right, come on, Ken. <laughs> just. Let's just finish. Right, it, right, people, I people guess. want to hear what we got, what we, what we think and stuff like that. Yeah. Don't be, don't be shy. Don't be shy, How long we been on? Uh, 
an hour around so we got 40 about minutes. one and 20 minutes one hour, oh, 20, an hour minutes. 20 minutes oh, 20 minutes oh, yeah well, not bad be good. Yeah, yeah you know it's, it's pretty short sure, i guess but whatever we can keep talking if not then we could just end it here and then all our podcasters are gonna be like yes <laughs> you know, people also want to hear our personality. You know what we all about and whatnot. You know, they don't, they don't care. They don't, <laughs> they don't really want to dig it into that dark. You know, yeah. I'm honest, <laughs> yo, I, I, when I when I finish Battlefield Five, I'm gonna go start into finishing the Uncharted games because man, I I procrastinated that shit for years. <laughs> you said it last true, time true. you I'm never really, thought you. I'm halfway of the first one. Games, and I just left it. I'm just like, damn, it's been a like year since I touched that well, game. I haven't I got... even finished South Park, and I started a thing. I need to go finish those. Last the, year. I need to finish the third one so I can play the fourth one and then play Legacy. And I, I, I actually did it. And then I'm going to go play Last of Us. Kenan, I'm going to play a lot of PlayStation games. Kenan, what game you haven't even finished? I guess he left, really. Oh, my God. No, nah, he didn't leave. He's still not there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, excuse you? Wait, what? What games have you have you? Have you Yo, my love, you don't got a backlog? I mean, I have a backlog, but not games that I started and then finished. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Like I have, I don't have games that I started and I haven't finished. If I haven't finished it, that shit was boring, and I just dropped it. You know, that's really most of mind. the games you play are like really caliber games, like top level, and you still don't finish. Ooh, oh. no, I'm talking about both of them. I finished uh, it once, on me. No, because right now you're saying you haven't finished some of the games. No, I for not like I a have, lot like you. Wait, have, have, started, have you I finished? finished uh, I one too, but I didn't start. Third, third. I didn't start the third one. And I, and I usually finish the games the same day I start them. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's you're, wrong you're, you're crazy. Unless, unless you play like on, on hard, like really hardcore mode, then okay, <laughs> you're going to be there for a while. Have you no, ever... I, play, I play Tomb Raider on hard mode. Yeah, but no, it's, okay, that's true. Tomb Raider's not even hard. That's not fair. <laughs> if the game Raider... is not hard, then. I play, I play, Devil, I play Devil May Cry on hard. L- little kids that uh, play Fortnite could finish Tomb Raider on hard. <laughs> Yo, for real. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm I trying to see I better play guess. it all. I want to get play Uncharted 4 on Crushing because I heard that shit is hard as a motherfucker. So, <laughs> and I've seen people play it on Crushing, and that's going to be a blast. You're going to see me rage. So I'll tell you that right now. Wait, did you I pay own for that. GTA 5, Josh? Yeah, I beat GTA 5. No, no I, do you I, own I it right now? It. What? Do you own a copy of it? No, I will on Xbox. Oh, okay. But is it close platforms? No, it's not. Right. I wish. <laughs> I oh wish it was crossplay. I think the next one will be crossplay though. It still it should be. Yeah. Mind playing on that shit on the Switch? Yeah, or, uh, you can, nah, I mean, nah. come on, come on. I, I, you could, they could make it happen, you know, uh, but I don't think they're gonna want to spend. According to y'all, the Switch is the future. So shut up. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, you. I <laughs> said it. Like you, why are you hating on the Switch? You know that's you know, they're gonna be really. No, yeah, there's no reason to hate on it, but. You we'll know, see. Come on, not, come on. It's Nintendo. Who are we talking about? They had the best yeah, online experience not, across the platform. They're not gonna go anywhere, but it's not the future. Come it's on, not, let's not get carried away. <laughs> you ever it's play? Have me. you ever played uh, Metal Gear Solid Two? Yes. Heroes Two. Heroes Two on the Wii. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I played the fuck out that game, yo. On even the Wii. Multiple. Yeah, on the Wii. I even played multiplayer with the nunchucks. Wii more nunchucks. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah those were the day, bro. bro. That, it, that was hard. Because it was Try the first like, Wi-Fi game, right? It was the f- first online game they released on the well, Wii. No, it was the first like, uh, like, Mo- like yeah, Medal of Honor. Mo- Mo- Warfare, yeah. yeah, yeah, like it was the first shooter game on the Wii. Ah, shit was fun. Was so, so fun. Yeah, it was fun as hell. But those controls, you know, that's, yeah, they were that's nasty. Game, <laughs> You're really oh my nasty. god! You ever played Call of Duty Four on the Wii? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I play? I play. Uh, I, I felt like I was playing welfare, a welfare game, bro. Yo, my respect. I played Black Ops the, the first four. one, and you you're actually like, god nah, damn, because I played Black Ops. The first time I played Black Ops was on the 360, right? And then I once the by 360 got the red ring, and I was like, shit, I'm gonna have to downgrade to the Wii then. And I downloaded the thing. And oh my god, just the graphics look like fucking the phone graphic, but I still play that <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. It was terrible. And I think that the one game I really played competitively on the Wii when it comes to a shooter was the Conduit. Uh-huh. Conduit and Conduit 2. That that game was hella dope. And it came out on the wrong machine, yo. <laughs> the wrong machine. Because yo, that <laughs> that team really loved that game. But it didn't do well because it was on the fucking Wii. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, if that game got like a remastered on the Switch, 
I, I will play the hell out of that game. That game was awesome. Keep praying. It's not gonna happen. They they abandoned it. You really it's think gonna they're happen. gonna do a, a remaster of that thing? And they haven't even do nah, anything nah. for the what, nah, nah. They're probably gonna do a, a, a prime trilogy, of yeah. course. Not a, they're not gonna remaster. They just probably you know what should they should bring they should uh take out of the switch. They should bring um Excite Truck again. No, the game's dead. Nah. <laughs> I know. I had fun, even though it's a free game. I was like, ah, damn. Yeah, it was a fun. I, 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 give you that. I, yo, I, I remember I bought that game for my brother for his birthday. Uh -huh. We played it for a day, got everything, and we got bored and we and traded it back. Really? <laughs> yeah, after that game, I it was it. yo. After we finished playing that game for like ten hours, we just got bored of it and just. Told yeah, that was, it, it, yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was me and Naruto Ninja Storm Revolution. Yeah, I don't know if you guys like one for the GameCube. Was it? Yeah, GameCube, Clash of Ninja. Yeah. Yeah, bro, like, literally, I played that game. He th unlocked every character in, like, two hours. I was like, why the fuck did I buy this? <laughs> Man, I, I, I literally returned it the same day I bought it. I was just like, the fuck uh, out of here. Some of these games are just straight boot. Yo, the, 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 the Clash of Ninja Revolution games were all garbage. Mm. That was a blow or a broken mess. Now, Get to Ninja Tyson 4 was the shit. That game was fire, but it was only in Japan, though. Yeah. Damn. Naruto gets to Ninja Tyson. I don't know what I'm talking Nobody about. Nobody will get it. Except Japan. Yeah. I think. What about yeah. the GameCube, man? I'm GameCube? done, dude. I'm done. GameCube, we ain't talking about no GameCube. We out of here, Wait, yo. Did you, did <laughs> you play Call of Duty 3 we'll on the Wii? God, nah, no. Nah. The Wii only had Black Ops. No, World War that War and Call of Duty 4. I know I played Call of Duty 3 because I bought it. Not the Wii U, oh, but man, the Wii. It probably did have Call of Duty 3. Yeah, it was one know. of the first shooters they took out, but it didn't have any online shit. Nah, nah. The ones I had online was 4 and World at War. And I'm honestly, I feel sorry for those developers that they had they were forced to make a multiplayer for that fucking game. Because <laughs> <laughs> no one played it. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> That's it was World a lag War? Event, bro. Which one are you talking about? Uh, for Call of Duty 4 and World at War on the Wii. Oh. Yeah, I played Call of Duty 4 on the Wii. Yeah, fuck yeah. It was garbage. That shit was a laggy mess. I, I, I played I enjoyed it. I mean, hey, man. You, yeah, you, you, you know, I get your haters. You hate Nintendo. You hate I mean, no, I've enjoyed that had. game. Yeah, there are games people don't like, and I was like, yeah, oh, this game is... It's I, the only I, thing I, we had to play. You have an example, you ever, Kenny? Yo, you ever played Glover on the 64? Glover? Don't. Say it again. Don't ever. No, a Glover. No. Look it up. Look it up whenever you have a Glover? chance. Lover, watch some gameplay. Yo, when I was a kid, I loved that game. And then I tried to play the second time when I grew up. I was like, what the fuck was I playing when what I was a kid? Uh, <laughs> uh, straight boring. Oh, it's not. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think I played it, too. Uh, what that the game. fuck were you I, playing, eh? Ah, booty. <laughs> oh, my God. What, bro? What the I don't blame these? you. I don't blame you. I play Pitfall. Nah, that shit, yo, I uh, fuck that. Bomberman here was my, was my. This game was nasty. Game. Bomberman, yeah. Bomberman I, here. I remember I rented that from uh, Blockbuster. I never, oh, never understood. Okay. I mean, I played it. It just hit me the nostalgia, yo. Blockbuster. I mean, not Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Block. <laughs> <laughs> Block. <laughs> yeah, Blockbuster oh, was. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Where did I remember? I, I like to just go games. in there. I just smell I everything new. Like, Go to Blockbuster. I used to hide games so that when I come back, I can pick it up and rent it. But then, then when I got older, I was like, "Oh, people! I didn't find them. Like, oh, people just the employees will oh, yeah. always fix the owl. Yeah, so. I don't know what the, the point is the game. Actually, the game. okay, is this a, a, a I would say um, a good argument to make or a good conversation? Nope. Um, do you, will you compare employees from Blockbuster to the employees from GameStop? They're the same. Please. I mean, there's two different hey, services, longer. but I'm just saying. As a I quality, mean, Blockbuster was still garbage, though, when it came to customer service. What about care for the job. It was it was terrible, bro. I mean, yeah, I didn't have a lot of really bad experiences like against them. Neither at Blockbuster, though. Maybe because uh, I went in the morning, so most, most, of, most of the time in the morning we were empty and people were actually friendly. Yeah. But if yeah, you go, Black like, on a Friday, down right so long there, ago, it's kind of hard to, to remember. You know. Just read, just use your memories of Damn, that long. What kind of memory, you have? Nah, man, that's that was a long time ago, bro. <laughs> bro, are we talking about what, 10, 15 years? Yo, yo, ten years is a long time. 
Yeah, well, I still yeah. remember things. Yeah, but you still remember Circus City? Well, yeah, 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 Circus City. Yeah. But Circus City, City. Yo, that, that to be honest, I didn't even, I didn't even frequent Circus City like that. Now, Circus City was the best. That's all we had, but where I lived at. Uh-huh. And then we had that, and we had a Target. And then we didn't have a Best Buy until Circuit City got shut down. And then Best Buy took the spot. Yeah, Best yeah, Buy was the first thing I noticed. Circuit City, but Circuit City, man, they used to have so many deals. Yeah. So many yeah, deals. Yeah. What was the main store you, you shop at, Malagro? Huh? What was the main the main, Well, you work in some of this place, didn't you? Yeah, but well, what do you mean by where I shop at? Oh, like most of the... Okay, what's your favorite place you go to? Or the one place you will go for to buying games? My video What's game? That? Yeah. GameStop. GameStop? No, it wasn't EV Games? Yo, GameStop, KB Toys, um, EB Games. EB Games. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't had a game land around here. No, Canada. No, really. Don't stop it, though. We had, you, we had game land. It was like mom and pop shops. No, game that land. Was like a, we don't have that. Yeah, like, like, I, I even went to X Force, the one in the Wild Hills Mall. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, I went that. there. That's that's why I got the my PlayStation One. Yeah, Man. I remember. I, I bought a few games for Xbox. Yeah, that's true. Is yeah, it, it's out. still open, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah so. I can't believe that shit is still open, bro. Going down <sighs> memory lane, yo. <laughs> I can't believe it. No, no, yeah, literally, I can't believe that thing. And I see the same employee. That I saw <laughs> ten years ago, the same. Dude. Damn, really? Yeah, yeah the same a, boy. Maybe, some, maybe the owner. Oh, owner. he's the owner. He might okay, be. Okay. He might be. I don't know. He's pretty sad. Yeah, that guy's dedicated, bro. He, he he just walks. He lives right here by my house too. He just walks to the fucking uh to work every day. That's. I wish I could just walk to work. Yeah, he works like maybe two, three blocks from there, and he just keeps walking and say, like, hey, "What's up?" It's like hey, because he knows me. Yeah. Chill. I wish I could walk to work. It's some bull. I mean, but they had some expensive shit since they were, you know, nobody actually went there to buy yeah, shit. The game is they, yeah, the game is Yeah, overpriced the, everything. And sometimes the when the game yeah. didn't have it, guess what? Or, or Walmart during that time. And guess what? You got to go to x Force. Um, pop shops, though, is that they will overprice things, though. Always overpriced. That's, things, the, only thing I, that's the only thing I like about Walmart. You can find some stuff there. Yeah, but Walmart is... The, is that's that's the what the target for for, for the poor people yeah yeah, yeah that shit is the ratchet hood the hey, ratchet target, hey bro. dog bro at walmart here every christmas by my house yo i remember shit. that walmart by your house yo i remember when i stepped they, in that place i was like i would <laughs> never come back in here bro, again, bro. i literally i would like presents people like stealing shit i remember one day i went to walmart with my mom i was at around the time of christmas and we were just like the third floor by the you know the digital media place, like looking at DVDs and shit. Yeah. And some guy was at the around the Nintendo and then PlayStation stuff. And when he was doing, he would just he gra- he had a scissor under his uh hoodie, and he would just cut and shit and put it in, and put it on. And no one noticed. Like no one. I think That's people crazy. passed by to him by him, and you know they looked at him still and stuff. And he looked at us back and looked at people back, and no one said nothing. People just continue doing their thing and yeah, like i had a no, like, no, feeling yeah. i had a feeling you know what i should say something these niggas just stealing stuff you can't yeah, get away thing, with it thing is like <laughs> it's it's not the thing is like it's i didn't want to snitch but you know like it's not it's like the thing is like he's stealing that it's not gonna hurt you it's not gonna hurt anybody yeah i mean it hurt the company it's probably yeah. what they and the they, first thing i did that, is like i told my mom that, that location closed down because okay. everyone was just the shit. There. yeah yeah it's true and employees didn't care too like I yeah, even, like if the employees don't care, we should not care. Yeah, I <laughs> even told my mom, should I tell someone? And my mom was like, don't get in, don't, don't get, get involved, involved, or is he gonna get shot tomorrow? Or something. I was like, okay. I know, man. right? Like, if they find out you snitch to him, he gonna fucking try. But you know, it. since I frequent that mall all the time, it's like one day I'm gonna watch this nigga, and it's like, like, what? Well, do you work here? No, mind your damn business. Like, yeah, yeah we're saying, Chubby dude, who rabbit out? It's like, bam, right there. Yeah, okay, and right. and a lot of ghetto people were just getting in the Walmart, bro. It's like. You never know who's gonna, you know, packing one. Pack, uh, yes, true. And you know, we're seeing a wall. Like dumb people would just get in and steal. And right next to Walmart, right, literally right next to the Walmart is a parking lot. And down there, there's a police station. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's right. For real, it's like you, bro, you act like police care. Uh, yo, nah, that's fucking. Yo, when it comes to like the hood, bro, cops don't give a fuck. They'll yeah, watch they the dude care. steal from the store and be like, all right. They didn't care. <laughs> like, there are many times they would get in and just grab somebody that's, you know, yeah, yeah. making a little mess. But, that's yeah. great. Yo, when I went to that store, 
there was always a goddamn mess, bro. <laughs> yeah, always true. a mess. Yeah, I true. told my friend, never bring me here again, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was true, very ratchet. It was very ratchet for sure. But you know yeah. what? We didn't have anywhere to go. We poor people can only afford going like three blocks away from here. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I mean, I can't. Uh, it, it was, you know, raining money. But uh, <laughs> uh, you act like we balling out here, bro. Yeah, and I can't. It was balling for sure. Stealing uh, games for free. He was game. look. I was buying an EV games. Kenneth was buying a GameStop, bro. That's a huge difference. <laughs> <laughs> EV games is games was GameStop. Oh well, no! Like, once they merged after that, yeah. yeah but EV games was the same shit. Though. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was literally the same thing. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I mean, EV games still still better. Yeah, I mean, EV games still exists in Canada. Uh, in Australia, them Canadians, yeah. shit. A, toys of Australia. Australia. Who yeah. in the F? Yeah, yeah but one. I remember you. And there's actually one blockbuster. I forgot where it was here, somewhere in America. Blockbuster? It's, yeah, yeah, there's one blockbuster yeah. left. I know there's still one. Yeah, I know it's, it's actually doing well. I was doing well. I think it's in Virginia or Georgia. Or something. Somewhere. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's Arkansas. Like, wow. Yeah. It's probably in a place where it's really like secluded. You could literally like, YouTube it. There's, not, a, there's a mini documentary about it. Yeah, it's probably in a plot where it's like the internet is not good and whatnot. And then. No, and no, literally, it, like, literally, people's like, no, I have Netflix, but I just come over here for the nostalgia. Oh, uh, okay. That's and then, crazy, you know, the community yeah. supports it because, you know. They That's awesome. It. I wish the whole world was like that. But, and then it's, and it's literally owned by the, you know, the, the you know, the lady. You know, yeah. The lady and her son just work there. And then. If you know, if this Blockbuster still has a website, if you go to it, you can still actually do stuff. Like what? Can it? Can like, you hack uh, it? Can you hack it for some stuff in there? You can stream. Uh, you can stream movies on on TV and stuff on on Blockbuster. I yeah yeah, but they they partnered with like Dish Network and whatnot. It is what it is, bro. We just went through the nostalgia lane right here. Nostalgia trip. But uh, I think it's time for us to go though. Time for yeah, us to move I hope on. you guys have fun. Um, Keep in tune. Maybe next week we're going to have to release the next hour. episode. Yeah, it's about an hour. an hour and a half. Yeah, thank God. Thank you guys for just to stay like an hour and 40 minutes. No, not two hours. How long was this, Ray? Right? right now, an hour, an hour, like 36, 37. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah that's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Thank you guys I hope for staying out. Uh, here, you know, Make Gameplay sure. X4 podcast episode three. You know what I'm saying? Make Everybody, sure. yo, say, say your piece. Make sure to check peace, out Joe, the peace. gang right here. Alias, uh, yo, CIA so uh, Josh, go Josh Gambino, Barrage, we got, um, got um, Malagru the boat. Let me do my oh, outro. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but since you, thank, I was, <laughs> thank God I was able to update my face. Look, <laughs> <laughs> it used to be just me in the picture of me smiling oh, in the corner. Nah, yo, this is Echo Barrage. Check me out on my YouTube at Echo Barrage uh, and my Twitch. Same thing. Check me out. Yeah, same thing for everyone. It's just same links. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, peace. Oh, you, oh, yeah, same links. Your link is my link. Like, Yo, you're gonna be like, oh, yeah, we links at the down below. There ain't no links. Imagine, <laughs> imagine if the links go to uh, like another porno. Okay. No, shut up. <laughs> nah, imagine, right, hey, Josh, I'm, I'm Josh go, got man. Bino getting getting raped and caught and just put up on her. Uh, oh, 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 okay, okay, whatever. whatever. No, <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. We, 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 we out of here, y'all. Check us out. Uh, leave some, leave a um, comment down below. Let us know what you thought. You know, you yeah. got suggestions, yo. Just put it in the comments, man. Let us know what you think. <laughs>